Department of Justice documents obtained by Judicial Watch appear to confirm that the FBI is communicating with Pfizer, the pharmaceutical company, about Project Veritas. Now in this document, which is an FBI document dated January 6, 2022, it's in response to a FOIA request, number 1514498-000, subject, all communications regarding Project Veritas between FBI officials and employees backslash representatives of Pfizer. That's right, Pfizer Pharmaceutical. It says in the letter, the FBI has completed its search for records responsive to your request. The material you requested is located in an investigative file which is exempt from disclosure. It's unclear why Pfizer, one of the world's largest pharmaceutical companies, would be communicating with the Federal Bureau of Investigation about journalists or journalism done on Pfizer. Now on November 9, 2021, the CEO of Pfizer did say he was talking to the FBI and CIA about what he called misinformation. Uh, there was, particularly with us, we were targeted by a lot of, uh, uh, let's say, dark uh, organizations that you don't really know the ownership. Uh, you suspect that there are some countries behind. Uh, we were getting a lot of briefings from uh, CIA, from FBI about uh, attacks that uh, may happen to us, cyber attacks, I mean, but also about the spread of misinformation. That statement by Pfizer's CEO on November 9th came on the heels of a couple Project Veritas investigative reports into Pfizer about a month earlier. Why is a pharmaceutical company and the Federal Bureau of Investigation having conversations about journalists in the United States of America. Is this another example of the Department of Justice being weaponized by corporate and political interests? Is this another attack on the First Amendment and an attack on journalists?